Hi, I'm Jasmine Fine from OneFineCookie.com, and today I'm going to show you how to make Witch's Brew Jello Shots for Halloween. These Halloween Jello Shots are filled with boozy jello and gummy body parts. Also, check out the foam on top. Isn't that cool? Kind of completes the whole Witch's Brew look. Hey Hunter, want a Jello shot? To get started, we'll need to create the foam on top. So, you'll need some tapioca pearls. You can find these in Asian food markets or you can click the link down below in the description. That'll send you over to my blog with a full written recipe and all the tools that you need. You'll want to pour some in a bowl. Fill it very high with water. Next, place on stove and turn the heat to high. You'll want to boil your tapioca beads until they're completely clear. Then you'll drain them in the sink to remove all of the water. If you're planning on making your tapioca pearls ahead of time, make sure you store them in the refrigerator in an airtight container. Are you sure? To create the foam, you want to add a little bit of flavor to the tapioca pearls, otherwise they'll be incredibly bland. I decided to infuse them with rum chata. All you need to do is scoop some tapioca beads into a container. Pour some rum chata over the tapioca pearls and allow it to infuse for as long as possible. You snuck some out of the fridge last night, didn't you? Dude, you're already wasted. In the meantime, let's prepare our jello. First, you'll need some cauldrons, which again, you can just click the link below to find out where to get them. If you don't feel like using that, you can also use some clear little shooters. Dixie cups also work. Also, I thought this was kind of neat and fun. It's totally not required, but it might add a little flair and a neat surprise to your witch's brew jello shots. I found some um, Halloween themed gummies. They're basically body parts. So throw a few into each cauldron. Okay, let's put these aside while we make our jello. You'll need one cup of boiling hot water. You'll also need one third of a cup of any green color jello. I felt that my green jello wasn't vibrant enough, so this is an option. You can use some food coloring to brighten it up a little. I used leaf green and some yellow food coloring. This gives it sort of a neon hue. Just use a toothpick and dab it in. Ugh, you're so drunk. Hey, whoa, a little tipsy. Okay, so let's pour our cup of hot water into the jello. Once dissolved, add one cup of cold water and half a cup of cold liquor. Um, if you want to add more liquor, I would suggest doing so. I tend to add more liquor than that, but this is what I chose for the recipe to make it a happy medium. Once you're finished pouring, you just set them in the fridge and allow the jello to become firm. Yeah, no jello shots for you. You're cut off. Once your jello shot is set, take your infused tapioca pearls. We're going to drop them down on a piece of paper towel so it soaks up any excess liquor. Now that the tapioca pearls have dried off just a little bit, we'll place them on top of the jello. Don't forget to place a little spoon inside. Mm -hmm. 
the Breakfast of Champions. Somebody's win.